r slash escritted. What's a kink that you started joking about that turned into one of your actual kinks? I cannot get my husband to do that. It makes me jealous of you guys. Middle-aged woman in a business suit who puts her hands on her hips and tells me she is disappointed with me. You haven't finished your paperwork, I'm very disappointed in you. Roman Roy. I call them corporate MILFs. MILFs, and drunk office ladies. It started as a joke but I'm scared now. I have a complex, I love MILFs but hate children. Definitely wanna stay away from drunk people though. Your kink is Meredith Palmer? Sleep. Yeah I found out I really like being woken up being touched and everything. It makes me really horny. My wife is the same way. Apparently I do it all the time in my sleep, or I wake up fondling, fingering her. I on the other hand do not like it she's tried several times to wake me for sexy times and my unconscious mind does not like it. Praise kink. I found it ridiculous that someone would get off on being called it a good boy. Well. I second this. Please wake me up to fuck me. The best sex is definitely 3 a.m. half asleep spooning position emo. Milking table. Ugh. LMAO. Lil Dicky. That's just a glory hole wall for lazy people. I joked about being attracted to priests one too many times. Oh well. Fleabag is that you? Sorry I looked at your profile. I think you might be American. Fleabag was a series about a 30-something who ended up sleeping with a priest. Have you seen Midnight Mass? Father Paul is kinda. Here cause of Enrico Pucci and GT. And LT. Tall nicely built athletic ladies. Death by Snoo Snoo is my kink I guess. Reminds me of college where I played ball so we hung out with the girls volleyball and basketball teams a lot. There were some tall ladies and amp, some guys, mostly shorter guys, loved being with someone really tall. It worked out for a few of them as they're married. As a joke, I said good girl to my partner while in the bedroom the other day. Well, this seems to have unlocked something in her. Glory glory what a hell of a way to die. Curvy gals in cow print bikinis. Goddamn. Not quite that, but this might do it for you. Link. This comment is very moving. R slash lookout. Check out the udders on that one. Don't know if it's a kink. But tit sucking. Suck my tits while we fuck. Feels so good. Nipple sucking releases oxytocin in order to promote lactation. Hashtag Themory you know. My favorite thing to do. Dirty talk. I used to think it was so annoying until I tried it and I was really good at it. I'm actually really shy in real life and find that I have trouble communicating and forming sentences without thinking about them too much but with dirty talk, the words just flow from me without any hesitation or awkwardness. I'm a tall, athletic guy, 6 feet 4 inches. When I was single, I used to joke that I was single because I only want to date women taller and stronger than me. A man can dream, right? My current partner might not be taller than me, but she can carry me around like it's nothing. I found that I'm absolutely horrid at dirty talk. Insults on the other hand. Yeah, you like that, you and LT, censored and GT. This is a very old reference but hopefully at least someone here gets it. I'm not falling for this again. Your honor there was a post on r slash ask reddit asking about my fetishes, I didn't know they were going to check my hard drive. Pegging. LOL same. My response to partners wanting to to try anal has always been the same, if you let me fuck you first, with the intent to make them drop the subject, but Loki I'm somewhat disappointed no one took me up on it. Peggy from King of the Hill enters room. Choking. Started out as a joke back when my mental health wasn't great, then an ex of mine tried it and, well, it turns out it wasn't as much of a joke as I thought, lol. Well turns out I'm a switch. I like doming but apparently I also have a praise kink plus submission side. I've always joked about finding me a dummy mommy then my friend told me I was a good boy and I just shut down flustered. Oh well. It's so much fun to help someone discover they've got a praise kink. It's always a reaction like that. Plus, if they've got a degradation kink too, they usually enjoy good little slut. The stilts stay on during sex. Them them, do you know how I found out, a character, Francisca Von Karma. Not a kink, but I used to joke about being gay all the time. As it turned out. Hilarious. My best friend is gay, so I am always assumed to be gay. I keep joking that if it keeps up, I'm just going to get a t-shirt that says, fuck it, I'm gay, and wear it everywhere. 
I am definitely not wired to love the cock. But goddamn do I sure love to joke about it. I really like dressing up in lingerie and then letting my partner rip it and tear it off me. Ripping lingerie. In this economy. Eating ass. I thought why would any sane person put their tongue there. Well, my guy loves it and that gets me revved up. Big girls. When me and my BF were first dating, whenever one of us would get up to go piss, the other would say piss on me so that they don't have to leave. This went on for a while until my BF turned to me and said can you actually piss on me. When we tried it I found out we were both into pissing on each other slash golden showers. Maybe one day I can have the same happen. Good for you too. Getting slapped. Not mine but my wife, she used to joke about being thrown about, manhandled, pinned down etc. After doing it a few times to her she started to request that I keep doing it and it's now her go to request to get turned on quickly. The adrenaline that one playful slap gives is insane. Getting fucked. I do it non-sexually anyway so I figured I might as well do that too. Threesomes. I joked I would never get one. Got one several times and I discovered I really want more. Something tells me foursomes are next. I thought it was funny to annoy my ex-boyfriend and call him daddy bc he hated it. Joke was very much on me. Good girl. Eating her ass. Getting nipples pinched. It should hurt and it does but in a good way. Breastfeeding. Wife and I kidded with the first kid, when she was pregnant with the second. Yeah. It was fucking amazing. The notion of calling anyone daddy used to make me giggle uncomfortably. Read a couple of daddy dom romances and kink unlocked. Usually when someone jokes about something it's worth digging if they're not actually into it and testing the waters. Pregnancy. I mentioned it as a joke to a colleague and a few weeks later I'm scouring the internet for hot pregnant women getting fucked. The sex during pregnancy is wild. I've literally never been hornier in my life lol. Highly recommend. Best sex of my life was when I was pregnant. Thought my poor husband would die of fluid loss. The hormones were insane. Foot fetish. Now I'm on my feet all the time and I'd do anything I mean anything for a foot rub. Praise kink. Like what? Nurses. I'm normally quite ashamed of my body. Until I was in the hospital feeling like I was dying. The nurses being nice and what seemed to me genuinely not bothered by my ugly. Feeds. I dated a woman who had really lovely feet and one night I was giving her a foot rub and she just chucked one of them into my mouth. It was a pivotal moment and I've never looked back. It's just a shame it took me to age 31 to figure this out. I have bladder issues and my ex would tease me about it in a lewd way. I'm not into pee stuff, but it seems I like being humiliated for having issues with peeing. One day, I was laying there while she was on top riding me and I do not know what possessed me. But I saw her with her eyes closed and enjoying it, and I gave her cheek a slap and instantly she loves it. Now she loves begging for me to slap her when she doesn't expect it and I love slapping her. Joke. Yeah, yeah. Alien tentacle sex. Don't knock it till you try it. Where do you meet the aliens from? Is there a dating site? Never had any luck from SETI. You mean the fantasy, right? Right? Same thing happened between me and my wife.